Forecast. I'm Joseph, the host of the UFC Forecast, and we're here to open up some UFC cards. We got some 2022 Select Blaster Box. We got four cards in and six packs here, so let's start open them up. I got a special guest with me opening up the cards, and I'm going to name out the fighters we get. Hopefully we get an epic card here. Last, last time we opened it, we got a John Jones card, significant strikes, two orange prisms, and a silver prism. Looking to get something super epic here. This is last year's edition, and we had this for the last two weeks just sitting here. So I'm pretty excited to see what we can get here. Maybe we can get a Patty Pimblay. Some rookie cards. I know last time we opened them, we had quite a few rookie cards. A one of one would be nice. Ideally, a one of one would be nice. Never had a one of one before. That John Jones significant strikes. It's not even that good of a card. It's only 125 significant strikes against Alexander Gustafson. Yeah, it's an all right card. It looks cool, but it's not that special. First card, who do we got? Bilal Muhammad. Just a blue Bilal Muhammad card there. Remember the name Bilal Muhammad. Next up we got a Nate Diaz card. That's good for the collection. Nate Diaz, he just fought Jake Paul in boxing. That's a nice card for the collection, Nate Diaz. And then we got a Daniel Cormier. And the Funko Pop right there, that goes with him. DC, we just got the Funko Pop. Now we got a DC card to go with it. That's unreal. And now we got an orange flash prism champion, Juliana Pena, former champion. She lost to Amanda Nunes, but she did beat her. Beat Amanda Nunes. That's an unreal orange prism to get as well. That's a pretty good pull. That's a pretty good one. We seem to be getting these orange prisms. We got a Thiago Moises last time and a Dan Hooker. Now we got a former champion in Juliana Pena. That was a good pull. That was a good first four cards, in my opinion. Next up, we got a blue one. Man and Ferro just beat Rose Namajunas. It's a rookie card for her. That is a good pull as well. That is a good pull. She's going to be maybe a champion in the future. Title challenger for sure. Next up, we got Alex Perez. That's a pretty soft card in my opinion. I'm not a big fan of Perez, but he's, he's all right. Pretty big name in the UFC a couple years ago. And then we got Taliana Santos. Just lost to Aaron Blanchfield recently. But she fought Valentina Shevchenko to a split decision. That's a decent card, and it's a rookie card, too. Another rookie card. What did I say? We just pull rookie cards all the time around here. And now we got a silver Dan Hooker. Damn. We had an orange before, and now we got a silver Dan Hooker. That's not a bad one. Look, add it with the Dan Hooker right there. Yep. We got an orange and a silver Dan Hooker. That could be worth some money someday. Dan Hooker... He looked good in his last fight. He has a bunch of new tattoos as well. Dan Hooker is a fun fighter to watch. Don't miss a Dan Hooker fight. And next up, we got Jared Cannonier. Oh my God. That is a good pull. It's only a blue one, but it's Jared Cannonier, Middleweight division. And next up, we got another blue Dan Hooker. We got an orange, silver, and now a blue. Is this a Dan Hooker pack? We must have another Dan Hooker in here. Oh my gosh. Next up, we got another blue, Thiago Moises. We have an orange one. Now we have a original blue. Just the plain simple. And it's a rookie card too as well. Both in rookie cards. And next up, we got Rose Nama Junaz. She just made the move up to 125 and lost to Man and Ferro, But she's a GOAT. Rose Nama Junaz, the kryptonite of Whaley Zhang. Former champion. Great fighter. Rose Namajunas. Next pack, who do we got? We got an Umar Nurgamedov rookie card. Good pull there. Rookie card, Umar. That one's going to be put, put away for sure. He's going to be a champion in my opinion someday. And then we got a big pull with Calvin Gasolum. Fought Israel Adesanya. And that is another all right pull in my opinion. Calvin Gasolum. He's a decent fighter. Who do we got next? Damn. We got a Brandon Moreno. And that's a different style blue. What's on the back? Is that a one one Probably not. Just a normal Brandon Moreno card. Very nice card. 
Very nice Brandon Moreno card. The Flyway Champion. Former Flyway Champion lost to Alexander Pantoja, his Crypto Knight. Doesn't have the belt in that one, but he beat Devison Figueroa. That's a good card. Very good card. Looks nice, too. And next up, we got an Orange Flash, Charles Oliveira. Oh, my God. That's another good pull. Just a bunch of epic pulls on this on this uh, box here. Blaster box. Probably getting my money's worth, in my opinion. We got two more packs left. And we got an Orange Charles Dubronx Oliveira, Orange Flash. We got a Silver Dan Hooker. A couple rookie cards here. I'm liking it. We got a Nate Diaz, DC. And the first pull is a blue. Brandon Moreno. Different style than the other one we just pulled. Two Brandon Morenos. Two Dan Hookers. Let us know in the comments below if you want us to do more videos like this. Because I can order in more packs. We can do some more videos. This is pretty hype. My special guest is doing a hell of a job. Smash that like button. Next up, we got a Casey O'Neill rookie card. Just a normal blue one there. We got another blue one coming up here. And it's Nikita Krylov. Light heavyweight division, Nikita Krylov. Two blues. Probably another blue one coming up. What do we got here? Another blue and it's a rookie card, Sean Strickland, the new middleweight champion, just beat Israel Adesanya, and we just pulled his rookie card, and we got one pack left. Put that Sean Strickland right up at the front. What a performance from Sean Strickland to beat Israel Adesanya. He beat him just boxing. He beat one of the best kickboxers just boxing for five rounds. Probably beat him four to one or five nothing. What a fight. Put that Sean Strickland at the front there. The one we just pulled there, rookie card, Sean Strickland, new champion. Wow. Good pull. And to replace that spot, we're going Andre Muniz, another rookie card. Just another blue one. And uh, another blue one coming up here. Lots of blues. Lots of rookie cards as well. That's a girl fighter, Juliana Avila. Don't really know who she is. Never seen her fight before, in, in my honest opinion. I don't even know who the hell she is. Nice pull. Another blue. Khabib Nurmagomedov. That is a good pull. We got an Umar and a Khabib. Nurmagomedov cards. Fuck yeah. I've always wanted them. Holy shit. No way. Jessica Andraj. That must be a numbered card. What is that? Her flag's in the background. Put it up to the camera. Holy shit. That must be a one on one. That is a beautiful pull. Beautiful card. Jessica Andraj. Holy. Wow. What a card, Jessica Andraj. If you don't know who she is, yeah, you should you should know who she is. She's fought for championships. She's on the downfall now. She hasn't looked great recently, but what a good pull, Jessica Andraj. She's been around the UFC for a very long time. If you don't know who Jessica Andrade is, go look her up and check the back of that card. See if it's a one-on-one. That must be. Is it a one-on-one? One of anything. I don't believe so. I don't believe so. Just a very nice card. Global, global icons. Now that I have a better look, it's a global icons. Jessica Andrade with the Brazil flag. Like I said, she's on the downfall, but she had a hell of a career in the UFC. She has a bunch of good highlights too. If you don't know Jessica Andrade, go look at her highlights. That's a good card. That's a very good card. Even though she's not doing good now, I'm happy with that card. And I'm happy with the Khabib Nurmagomedov card. The rookie card, Umar Nurmagomedov. The rookie card is Sean Strickland. I'm not sure how that's a rookie card because he's been around for quite a while. Um, yeah, a couple of Brandon Moreno's, Dan Hooker's. Last time we had a John Jones. Damn, let me know in the comments below if you want me to order another pack of cards from last year. There's still some good stuff left from last year's blaster boxes. 
So, yeah, I will definitely order another one if you want me to. Just let me know in the comments below. I'm probably going to order another one anyways because they're pretty cheap. You can get them on Amazon. If you guys want to order one, I advise you guys to. And let me know in the comments below if you guys get any epic pulls. This was a pretty good pull altogether. It was an epic, epic fucking unboxing from last year's select 2022 UFC cards. So yeah, buy them on Amazon if you like these cards. I think they look pretty fucking dope. They're clean as fuck. I'll probably buy some more. And post another video a couple months from now. Unless you guys really like this video, then I'll buy one ASAP. And we'll get another video going, so smash that like button, and we'll see you soon.